Palace versus me. Round two. Okay. That, that's enough of being lost. I had a good feeling about this one, guys. Oh, something I forgot to mention last time. Uh, I need you guys to vote on which game you want me to do next. Either Legend of Zelda, The Adventure of Link, or Majora's Mask. Uh, the first two are from the Nintendo Entertainment System and quite possibly the hardest games known to man. That was close. And Majora's Mask is the one for the 64, as you guys probably know. So it's up to you guys what you want to see. I'll be doing all of them eventually anyway. Uh, I got a little treat saved for Ocarina of Time next fall, so keep watching out for that one. And now I'm just trying to get two rooms that I haven't been in yet. The goal is to get up to floor one. So we're just looking for some stairs. Oh, it looks like there's a door up here to the north. Oh, it's a big key door. Alright, pull that one out. What else do we got? Uh, the room on the far right has the treasure in it, and I don't have the big key, so I'm not going to head over there just yet. Die. Here we go. Okay. Now we're making progress. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave those slugs alone because they KO'd me last time. Three and a half heart KO. So, yeah. Okay, this room, you need to solve this little puzzle here to gain access to the torches. And mages spawn all around you all the time. So, just make all four available. Whoa. Like so. And we'll use the lantern and light them all. No problem. And then the screen shakes and rumbles for about 10 minutes. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, Link. You can you can move while the while the palace is growing. You don't, you don't have to wait. Uh, if you're low on life, you can farm those mages for life. Uh, I'm not going to for the sake of you would be bored and I don't want to. They have a pretty good drop rate for hearts though. Fall down this hole when you're ready and you'll get the big key. And into the teleporter. Uh, you know what, let's get the dungeon treasure first. That would kind of come in handy. So, we're gonna backtrack a little bit here. You know what, wrong way. And we're gonna go far to the east for the dungeon treasure, which is... Probably the most useful item in the game. For what it does, that is. You guys will understand here in a few if you haven't played this already. You got to be fast here. Quickly race around there and you'll catch that platform. It's close. And you get the red cane of something else. So, treasure in hand. We're gonna backtrack back to that big key room and from there it's a straight shot to the boss it's 
sorry guys, helping Jessie with Majora's Mask again. She's in the Great Bay Temple. If any of you have played and experienced that, you will understand. Anyway, across the bridge and we'll head downstairs this time. Here's what the cane does. See, something needs to be on that switch to keep the door open. So we'll use the cane, create our own block, and put that on the switch. Isn't that genius? I love that cane so much. Uh, it looks like I missed a room to the right. Uh, if you guys really want to see it, I guess you can go find out yourself. I don't know if I've ever been in there. It must not be too important. Uh, this needs to be red now, so make sure you tag that. here and there's termites in my eyes make that blue <laughs> okay and this is the room before the final boss so if you guys need any hearts magic supplies stand right here and you can you're safe from everything and you can farm slimes see they just they just keep coming uh, credits to my dad for finding this spot I'm gonna go ahead and move on and make that red again oh I need that Run, run, run. Okay, when you're ready, go up the stairs. Watch out for the fire caterpillar. And here we go to fight the final boss. The only strategy I have for this boss is to stand in the corner and swing your sword as fast as you possibly can and hope you don't get hit. Um, if anyone has like a real strategy to killing this thing, I would love to hear it. But this is all I do, and it seems to work. Hey, the eyes do so much damage to you, it's like three hearts a hit. Um, just stay out of the middle, you will get hit with lightning. And if you go in the swamp, I think that hurts you too. Then you fight the big eyeball. He's linear. Another easy boss. But he is a tank. Uh, and he does a lot of damage. I can't believe I died to another linear boss. Um, I can fight the moth, get hit once, and fight something that moves in a straight line and get killed. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. lady talks about a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna wait to end the segment until after I prepare for the Palace 5. Yes, I understand. I understood. 
the first six times you ask me. Yeah. So, I'm gonna go restock some fairies, and then we'll be ready for the ice palace. So, back to the fairy gathering spot. We have a handy warp there now. I swear there's a rupee in that bush every time. Every time I go through here, there's a rupee there. Okay, um, next time we will take on the ice palace. And yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck.